So, I'm in this new building. It's all focused on rehabilitation. And, um, I know you guys are probably getting sick of videos. But to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> it helps me stay sane. Um, it's a new building. It's a new place. I focus on just a lot of rehabilitation and strengthening up my strength and um what's going on is why I don't have strength I guess is the disease attacked my spinal cord and it hurt my nerves and your nerves have like a coating around them and to heal that it takes a long time for that coating to go around like a wire and so instead of everything just you know going from my brain to my arms and to my legs just um, cause it uses that coating to go down it like short circuits all over and so that's why it takes so long to recover doctor came in today told me they still don't know exactly what it is it's transverse myelitis but there's so many different um, things but he said that you know, it's going to take a long time. He's looking at months and months, maybe to a year down the road. But they said that they keep thinking I'll get better. And uh, today's my first day. And, uh, and Saturday is the easy day, I guess, because they go Monday through Friday really hard. And today, God, someone keeps texting me. <laughs> um, uh... It's 11, 20. I've had two classes today focusing on strength and mostly in my arms today because I lost a lot of strength in my right arm. I, I only have about three to four pounds of strength in my right arm and uh, in my hand or whatever. And they taught me how to take a shower, which sounds stupid, but I have to learn how to shower again. It's embarrassing. Um, I have to learn how to walk again, which is challenging, because in my head I can walk fine. I have to learn how to write again. Um, Uh, just a bunch of different classes and it's been it's only one day and it's the easiest day besides tomorrow because Sunday is a break it's been really tough and uh, it's the toughest the, the easiest oh gosh I can't even talk people take things for granted the, in some of the most easiest things in life become really hard and it's embarrassing and it's tough and I don't feel bad for myself at all you know there's people that are worse off than me there's people that are going through a lot of stuff right now and uh... no, oh, sound like someone's gonna come in anyway people are really nice here they're really supportive they've helped me out a lot so far but the first night was terrible because I had to do bladder scans and I finally fell asleep and they woke me up and drew my blood first thing at like 4.30 in the morning and they just woke me up and woke me up and woke me up and they're like, how are you feeling? Did you get any sleep? And I'm like, no. <laughs> they just woke me up every time I fell asleep, which is they have to do it, but I don't know. I've, I didn't even, I wasn't really going to make a video today, but I didn't really know what else to do. Um, uh, I'm not going to worry about people visiting me. Um, I'm just really exhausted and I really like the company and I appreciate it, but, you know, if you can't come see me, I, I honestly am not going to be upset. I'm always exhausted. I'm always fighting. And so if you can't come see me, trust me, I'm not going to cry about it. I've done enough crying and I'm just here just focusing on rehabilitation and that's the main goal here so don't worry about visiting because all I'm doing here is working really hard at 
getting better and that's pretty much it um, I'm exhausted Ugh. I'm so exhausted it's crazy how tired you can be from stupid illness but uh, I don't know it's different here it's I don't know how to I just I'm just glad I'm getting help I guess that's all I can say I'm just glad I'm getting help and I don't know the physical therapist people they're really cool they're nice so far so I got a wheelchair I'm learning how to drive a wheelchair I'm still not as good as Zach Farrar but it is what it is I got a walker I'm the youngest person here by far I'm 23 and I think the next youngest person I've seen is maybe 50 or 60. I'm the youngest person here. Everyone looks at me like I'm, I'm like eye candy here. I'm just like, I'm just kidding. 